Uh, you played a lot of hockey. Just how how did you feel last night? And knowing you're going again tonight, uh, how, how are you managing your energy? Yeah, uh, felt really good last night. And I think it's one of those things that we learn as a pro how to take care of our bodies. So it's good. And you know, I love hockey, so I'm ready to play. How uh, advantageous, advantageous was it for you to come up here and see a lot of your Monsters teammates up here and, and be very familiar with their games? Yeah, I think there's a level of like being comfortable, and I think it's really good to get to step in and know a lot of guys right away and know how they play. So I think that it's a big advantage for me. You know what's happened here in terms of injuries at, at the NHL level, and yet you've been competitive in a lot of these games because of, of the work of the call-ups. Just how much pride is taken in the opportunity to get up here and, and kind of hold the ship a little bit, hold the fort? Absolutely. We see it as an opportunity, and we're fortunate for it, and things are always changing, so we got to do what we can and be the best we can be. What does it mean in terms of the energy that's brought in that situation, and, and how much is that energy infectious? Yeah, I think it's just one of those things that you want to help however you can, and like I said, we're uh, us call-ups are super excited to get this opportunity, so I'm going to bring that energy as much as I can. Are you guys as surprised down when you're, when you're down in Cleveland as everyone else about just it seems like a guy's going down every single game? Yeah, it's just, just the way it goes sometimes in pro hockey, and then you have stretches where everyone's healthy. So you just kind of got to be ready for whatever and, you know, just roll with the punches. I, and you're going through a season like this, and you're seeing a lot of guys kind of, you know, go up and get call up. So you start to think, like, am I going to get one or anything like that? Or? Yeah, it's, it's sometimes it's you can focus on those things, but it's so much better to focus on your process. And I think I've done that a lot this year, and it's – it's one of those things, the more you can focus on that, the uh, chances will come. You guys are also having a pretty good season down there as well in the AHL. And then I know that the, every guy who's come up has talked about how much they like the coaching staff and everything. Mm -hmm. How much uh, is that, uh, you know, does it make it, I guess, easier not being here, but just being there and, and enjoying a season? Yeah, no, it's it's been good there. A lot of, we've been kind of doing with a lot of the same things with injuries here. It's been affecting us. We've had injuries down there. And so I think it's just one of those things, and we've, We've adapted well, and we've uh, played some good games. We saw you two years ago as a rookie, right after you signed a contract, came up and played some games. Uh, how do you think your game has improved, and where do you think you made strides uh, since then playing with the Monsters last couple of years? Yeah, I think playing with the Monsters helped me a lot, uh, understand the pro game more and start to see where I can impact it uh, in places. And I think it's I've developed as a player in, those, in some of those aspects, so it's it's been it's been good. Yeah. Did you like how your game was kind of coming together down with Cleveland up to this point? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I was coming back from an injury so early on. Some of the timing things were a little bit off, but uh, recently I've, I've really been happy with my game and uh, where it's been going. Marcus, I want to ask you just a little bit about uh, the job that all of you guys who've been recalled have done to kind of hold the fort a little bit. And, and you got to be proud for the work that you guys have put in. You might, might not be getting the results, but you got to be proud for the work you put in, right? Yeah, I, mean, I think we, all the guys have been playing good and uh, battling hard out there. Uh, it's tough out there. It's uh, playing against really good players. But, yeah, like you said, uh, I think the effort is there, and uh, not the result though. We want to win. Uh, we're playing in a high, high league, and uh, we got to win tonight. What has it been like for you? I mean, you, you get some power play time. Your quarterback in the power play. You're put in some pretty crucial situations. What has that been like for you? Uh, it's been really fun. Um, thankful for the opportunity and trying to make my best, trying to play the best game every night. Uh, and trying to play simple when I can and make plays when I can too. Uh, play against really good players, but yeah, I'm growing uh, every time I'm out there. You've played uh, some of the best teams in the National Hockey League and been right with them. Is there confidence that comes out of that? Yeah, it is. Uh, especially like when you're playing power play too, it builds confidence. So you have a lot of puck, you're playing with really good players, so trying to make plays and uh, yeah. I wonder if you could just talk about the the effort that you're getting from these guys who've been called up. I mean, you played some really tough teams, as you've yeah. acknowledged, and, and they're keeping you in the game. And that says a lot about what they're they're giving you here right now. Yeah, there's no give. You look at the, the stretch of games we've played. You know, we won the two at home before we went on the road. The Florida game, the Tampa game, the Boston game, we're right in all these games. And, and it, it, I'm disappointed for them because they're putting a lot of good minutes in. Uh, right from the goaltender out, guys, are they're giving it. So, um, you know, we got another opportunity here tonight. Uh, you know, it's opportunity seems to be the uh, the marquee word here for a lot of these guys, and uh, the the one thing you're looking for is consistency, right? That's that's what makes an NHL pro. Um, who can do it night in, night out? And our schedule has been been busy, so these guys are getting that opportunity. You just want to see consistency, and I've seen that with, with the effort and where we've been at. Uh, a couple of these games, it's been a couple goals late that have, that have stung us, but. Uh, but what they're given is is excellent rep to this point. We just need results. And you use that word opportunity. That's 
likely what's driving them, right? The motivation to get more minutes, to get more ice time, get higher in the lineup, whatever it may be. Yeah, I won't speak for them, but, um, you know, there's some guys that in certain games that impress you more, they get more ice time. Some guys maybe fall off with uh, that consistent effort or puck management. So uh, within those games, you're going to probably see adjustments or, or some guys moving up, some guys moving down. Um, but we'll see here tonight. How, have that, how has that attitude helped with the general state of mind of a team that's struggling to find results right now? Well, with, uh, when you don't get wins, it's, it's hard and because this is what we do. We want to yeah. win hockey games. That's what's fun. Um, so, you, you know, the, the energy has got to be infectious no matter where and, and because we need that's required. And, and they've given it. So we're, I'm hoping we got that again tonight, back to back. Um, but we got a bunch of young guys, so there, there shouldn't be anybody tired. <laughs> You look at some of the struggles of putting the puck in the net in recent games. Is it something the other teams are doing to you, or are there consistent things that this team needs to get better at, or is it just youth learning their way, or are there certain things you kind of see on the tape there that stand out? Well, just finishing. Some of them, it's not like we're not generating. There's going to be games where you go, wow, we didn't get much. But, you know, I think the Florida game, we had three posts. Last night we had two posts. Like, it's just it's an inch here or there that – and you know how it is. You get one or two, and all of a sudden everybody – you know, you start feeling like you, you can finish again. And um, – you know, so you, you you hope that those floodgates open a little bit, just to allow, allow them to relax. You know, instead of hitting the post, it's posting in, um, and and that can be the difference in some of these games. That way, the margin isn't so small, right? You you're playing these great minutes, and all of a sudden, this back it's in your net, and 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 when you're struggling to score, it feels like it can be insurmountable at times. Um, but when you're when you have that swagger offensively, you feel like you're you're never out of game, and you can you know start potting goals. So that's what hopefully we can get to here sooner than later. I assume you're going to go with Tarasov tonight. Yeah, right back good to assumption. Back. Yeah. First, yeah. Uh, yeah. first opportunity for him to go back to back here. Any concern with his uh, stamina and ability to handle that situation? Nope. He's excited. Young yeah. guy. Another again. Another young guy. Right. No excuses. Right. Um, Chinnikov. I'm sorry if you gave an update already. Do you have any? Is he going to be out tonight? He's out tonight. Yeah. I, and he's not even with us on this trip, so he's out for sure for a little bit here. We'll we'll get more results today and tomorrow. Is this like another long-term injury? It just feels like a day ending in life. It's sure looking that way. Yeah. I hope not. I mean, unless we get some miraculous MRI today, we'll find out. Um, you've had the chance to work with John Tortorella. You played mm -hmm. the Flyers. Do they look like? The team that you're used that you remember him coaching when you guys were in Columbus are they beginning to take on that that vibe? Yeah, you know what, you know I know John very well. We coached together a lot of years, and you know he's he's in foundation mode right now, and and where they're at, and you know they've been a banged up group too, a lot of injuries, a lot of things going on. So you know he'll be assessing these guys and, and watching them very closely, and um, I don't think it's they're where they're they want to be. Uh, very similar to us, you know. It's you get this amount of injuries, you get these. It, it's tough. It's hard to survive in this league. So, but he's watching with a close eye. I guarantee it. He's. I, I know what uh, what he's looking for, and and um, he'll keep them honest. Liam Foodie's a guy you've had in and out of the lineup. What have you seen from Liam, and what do you kind of want to see from him, assuming he goes back in tonight? Yeah, he's back in tonight. Uh, consistency and and add to his game. You know, we know he's got speed. You know, he can kill penalties. Um, so you got to attack the game. He's got to add some other elements. You know the physicality, the that competitiveness at the puck. Uh, there's more in his game, and and you know we've had great discussions. Watched some video with him. Um, you know that the word consistency. That's the that's the one thing. These the, a lot of these younger players. How hard it is. Um, you're playing against the best in the world, and you know there's so many ways to impact the game, and it doesn't have to be goals and assists, right? That's that's what you know everybody sees first. But there's, gosh, there's the wall battles, there's face-offs, there's, there's those 50-50 pucks, there's, there's a million ways to impact the game, and you want to be on the positive side of that. And that's, that's kind of the general message for a lot of these young guys. How are you impacting the game? Is there more positive than negative? Um, and take away the goals and the assists. That, that's, that's just one category in itself. So, and if you can get on the more positive side, that, I, I believe you build traction as a younger player, and that's where you build consistency, that's where you build trust, that's where you get more ice time. All these things kind of work hand in hand. For uh, getting thrown feet first into the fire, I think, as you said yesterday from mm -hmm. Kent, uh, first line center and everything. Uh, yep. How do you think he did uh, under those circumstances, being pressed into duty like that? Yeah, he did all right. I, you know, again, it's it's not Kent with the puck. Kent with the pucks, he's a very dynamic player. Um, it's Kent without the puck that, uh, and it's not that uh, he can't do it. It's just he hasn't done it. And you know, we started him against a pretty tough matchup there early and flipped that quickly. Um, 
but he, he, he thinks the game well. It's not a processing thing. It's just it's happening fast, yeah. uh, which is very normal uh, for for anybody, first year guy, anybody switching positions. Center and D is, is those are two positions that when mistakes are made, it's bad. It's bad because it ends up in grade eight chances. As a winger, you got a lot of layers and, and, and you got help. You know, when a D makes a mistake, it's usually a two and one. It's usually a, a bad pinch. It's it results in something very glaring, and, and we can see it very visual. So, down low at center, uh, your ability to support, um, you have to make reads up on the people, not just yourself. That that's it, it. There's there's so many things, and that's why it's hard. That's yeah. why it's a real tough position. So, I thought as the game went along, you looked more comfortable. Um, I think switching the matchup helped a little bit for him and his line. So. He's, you know, again, it, it's one game, and we're going to keep rolling with him and showing video and teaching. And, and uh, but there's a lot of potential there. Yeah, he's he's a good player. You've had obviously a chance to be around him now a little mm -hmm. longer, uh, kind of get to know him a little more. Mm -hmm. um, do you see a guy who? I mean, I know he's kind of quiet, but the, do you see a guy who who's pretty intense and, and wants to learn at these things as fast mm -hmm. as possible? Yeah, I think you know he, he's got. A hunger to learn, which is good. He's 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 he loves to be around the rink. He wants to improve his game, and um, sometimes it's like you know we got to improve you in the areas that maybe you don't want to work on, right. right? That that's you know it's always fun to work on the areas you're good at, um, but that's us just you know working with him daily and, and you know just in practice and video sessions, and a lot of it's done with in front of everybody, the whole group. Sure. Right? We're all learning together. So uh, with with our youthful group right now, and it's it's by committee, and um, but he has a willingness, and that's that's. That's really important, the, the hunger, the willingness. Um, he's got a good computer. I think he processes the game well. Um, when he'll take that next step is when he does play that position, it slows down a bit for him, you know, in, in, in the craziness, you know, below the hash marks. That, that's when he'll really take off, and, you know, that, that's going to take some time. Yeah. I think Don played three straight games when you can when you factor in the uh, three games for three days. Then, yep. Right? Yep. Uh, did that factor into you know, maybe did, were his legs a little tired last? A night? little bit. He was fine. And again, you know, Dunner's just coming up. He's getting his first taste here in a long time. Uh, there's some other guys that I know uh, can trust in some different situations. So and it wasn't so much what he didn't do. Um, you know, he, he he loses coverage on the, their one goal, but it's a bang bang play. Um, but yeah, there's just guys that have been around yeah. that you know I have a little bit more pedigree with. Foodie going to Chinnikov spot. Yeah, lines. We'll see. Uh, All in a blender. Yeah, it's. We'll see. And, and Dunner in or out? Dunner's in. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Same D. Same D. Yeah.